which is kind of weird to me. But you know what? To each their own. Hey, uh, if it works, it works. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Batman, actually, um, kind of an upcoming. He was one of those people to watch in Smash 4. He was pretty good. Um, not quite, like, not PR level and not quite HM level, but he was definitely right, right under there. He like, was one of those players that was notable but wasn't quite on yeah. the rankings. Okay, gotcha. You could definitely like probably see him as top 25 in DFW in Smash 4. I, I saw his name around quite a bit towards the end of Smash 4, and I've seen his name around a bit here and there for Smash Ultimate. Yeah. Um, so when I got to play him last week, I was kind of hyped about that. I was really excited about the way that that would go. Unfortunately, during the first game, his controls were like messing up, and he was dropping oh, combos, no. and it was that ended up a little bit awkward. But it was a hell of a set. I love playing against him. Yep, All right. yep. And of course, we got Austin rocking the nest as always. Of course. Oh, he's never going to do anything else. We're never. trying to figure you know, out what like enemy it is from Earthbound, but if you look at Ness's shirt, it's got eyeballs on it. And I don't remember I what enemy it is. I do that. I can't. Uh, you <laughs> I uncultured cannot help swine. You at all. I'm not even going to lie. Sorry. I <laughs> yeah. I have that, like. I can count on one hand the number of video games I've played, and two of them are <laughs> Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel you on that. I don't play any other games. Well, like, lately, especially. Yeah. I play a lot of like Civilization VI at home with oh, my wife. <laughs> I play a lot of uh, I played a lot of Civ Five with mods. Nice. So it's a good time. Yep, yep. They've got an expansion coming out on the 14th. that's looking pretty awesome. I'm excited okay. about that. Outside of that, I played WoW for quite a while. A little Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. But nice. I've got a wife and three kids now. I, you know, I don't have the time for that nonsense. Yeah, yeah. I feel <laughs> okay. I think. So, I really like both these characters. I think have insane punish games. But the difference is, like, Daisy is trying to hit you with these true combos and, like, long strings that may end in a forward air and take your stock. While Ness just kind of, like, never lets you touch the ground. You leave yeah. the ground once and it's like, guys, Ness, good Ness, luck. Ness is definitely one of the hardest characters to combo in this game. He's Dude, small. He's so he has small. really fr fast yeah. frame data. I got His aerials are just right now. I got to play against Austin over the weekend at uh, the Tyler tournament that was oh, this yeah, last weekend. Yeah, yeah. And I got to sit down, I got to play a lot of friendlies with him, and dear lord, he's just like the most insanely fast <laughs> player out yeah. here, man. His reaction time's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It's yeah. Insane. yeah. Amazing aerial spacing from Austin, too. Jason with the biggest understatement of the night. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I've been struggling with Austin since Smash 4. Don't, don't worry about it. Says the but winner of Ultimatum. Yeah, well, I didn't have to play, I didn't have to play Austin. Austin took him out. Army took him out for me. But anyways, we got Austin versus Batman. Okay, so fun fact about Ness. His up air, you cannot react to it. If you shield, before you can even it's drop. It's fast. It, well, before you can drop your shield and act, if he up tilts, he's faster than you are. Yeah, yeah, he has and no that's, lag. That's oh, frame data on Plus, it, yeah. and that's coming from Dakpo and Sethlon. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah. They labbed that out. They tried everything they could. No, if he up airs your shield, with up airs like Smash Four. It's super yep. safe. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Like, yeah. that, his up air is better in this game. In I my think opinion. so too. You could drag people down, grab them. Like, yeah, you the drag down stuff. With it. It's it, people thought it was a nerf. It's a buff. So. <laughs> anyway, this is where this is where Austin just gets so much off stage with the PK thunders. Ooh. All right, well, Batman in a good position here. Actually, got the oh. get up and killed. Little little bit of bad DI there. Definitely didn't look like it was going to kill. Austin kind of shifted in his seat a little bit. It uh -huh. seems... That will kill. Yeah, it should. It, it, it seems from my perspective, and I may be speaking a little bit out of turn here, but it seems like Austin struggles with this matchup a little bit. Maybe. I mean, Oryx, uh, like, are, are maybe number two. Uh, really good Peach. Yes. Is uh, definitely, like, put in the work uh, in this matchup, but it makes it... He still seems a very tough one, you know? I'll be honest, I think everyone struggles with this matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Peach, Peach and Daisy are top tier, likely the best characters in the game, a lot of people are saying. So, I mean, yeah. it's just a hard matchup. Oh, caught on the ledge twice, but nice SDI doesn't actually get um, comboed out. And the Nair would definitely have killed him. What I've found with PK Thunder, the best thing to do is DI out and up. Mostly up, but if you go up and out just a little bit. It's it's different but, uh, depending on if you're a fast baller or a floaty. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Fox fast, player fast, would know that. <laughs> fast followers just get bodied by it. <laughs> if you're a floaty, yeah, you could DI up and air dodge away. Um, it also puts you out of the range for Ness to run up and grab you or yeah. get any yeah. other kind of realistic punish off of that. Yep. And so that's the that's the DI that I've found works the best so far. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But uh, this might kill. Oh, oh not quite. Yeah, PK Thunder kills now. I'm sure the next one will kill. <laughs> 
Whoa! Oh, apparently, uh, that's it. Unsafe bear. Yeah. Also I, ran up, you know. Very deep and uh yeah, PK so fire gets the grab. This is gonna be big damage. Quick 30 damage. Really gets out of it. Excellent DI to get away from the follow-up forward. Ooh, was, he got out of that one quick. That was good. Yeah. He was ready for that one. I couldn't get out of that until like 60% mm -hmm. when I was playing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get out of that. I get hit with like three of them. And I'm like 70, but uh, that will He take. wasn't even at 100 when that move started. So yeah. strong. It's so That's strong. Uh, it is. And everything seems to lead into his aerials. <laughs> the way that the PK Thunder yeah. comes around and it, yeah. it kind of boops you and then you just fly yeah. right up in yep, front of him yep, and it's yep, like, hey, what's up? Is this a true combo? <laughs> Can I air dodge? Is he going to read the air dodge? Like, it's uh, it puts you in a terrible situation, yeah, honestly. dude, it's awful. It's it's a hell of a move. It feels like it limits your options so hard. It does. And puts you, you can't in just the right spot. In Smash 4, it was annoying, but you could air dodge and like mix it up. Yep. Yeah. Easily get away from it. But in this game, you just got to eat it. And got to eat it. So much Hope damage. that you have, uh, if your character has a really good downward hit boxes, you can uh, plank it out. But Austin actually does a really good job of like not sending the head straight towards you and like swing the tail at you. Yep. And you get hit by the tail uh, hitboxes. I don't know what it is about Austin, but he knows how to control that thing like no other Ness player. <laughs> Austin's what oh, we yeah. call an intuitive thinker. He doesn't, he, 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 you can tell he knows that it's right, but odds are if you ask him, hey man, what can I do with this? What are the options? He's probably going to go, I don't know, I'm just going to Yeah. When you ask Austin for advice after a match, it's not going to be too helpful. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've, I've heard him like talking to other players. It's hilarious. Yeah. He's. He's one of the most naturally intelligent people Absolutely. that I've met. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a really just he just, intuitive, reaction time based player. But he's not logical about it. It's not like he sits there and thinks about it ahead of time. He just knows what the right option is and yep. does it. And so, like, this stuff right here, he, pin, he pins people off stage, gets them into a bad position, mm, then baits exactly. you to get up and does stuff like that. Yep. And all of mm -hmm. Ness's moves KO at such an early percent in this oh, yeah. game. He kills so early. Back throw. I'm trying to catch a double jump there. Uh, Austin, not giving it to him at all. And all of, uh, all of Ness's little movements and the way that Austin uses them in particular. Now, mind you, Ness is one of the more popular characters, and I play a, uh, play online a lot. And he, I run into a Ness about like once a day. Yeah. Okay, it's not super <laughs> uncommon to bump into one of them. Oh, and is, is he gonna get this? Oh, okay. not quite. Not right. Ah, he uh, down smashed him out of the wrong direction. And I have played against zero oh. Ness players that play anything like Austin does. Oh, yeah. Every single other one of them is slow, predictable, oh, yeah. and kind of iffy at best. Yeah, Austin, I think the, one of the main things that a lot of people don't say is That's how yeah. unpredictable he is. Like, it's so hard to catch his landings. It's super hard to combo him. It's so hard to read anything he does. And even then, when All you right. do get a read, he's so fast at reacting. Yeah, he's things. also really good at disadvantage. Like, yeah. if you start up something on him, he easily just gets out of it somehow. Oh, okay. That's always a very scary to challenge. I've seen Austin capture people in the tail of the uh, PK Thunder. I mean, everyone has in this region. <laughs> yeah, this just feel, he makes it feel impossible. Oh my God. Holy air dodge, he took, got like, out of that one. That might be that situation. it. Mm, nope, not fun. quite. Yeah, but yeah Austin's Next ready one, to just definitely. finish this off. He's going for some crazy stuff. I, I actually chased him down with the PK Thunder. PK Rocket. <laughs> All right. Batman trying to get some offense started, but... So it, what Batman needs to do is he needs to figure out a way to slow Austin down a little bit and try and not fall into all of these traps that Austin keeps setting. He did good avoiding the PK fire right there. That Ooh, awesome. smash, yeah. that's going to do that, it. it does, nothing works twice on Austin. There was a couple times where he had jumped, fared over a PK fire. Next time he's in the air, Austin's ready with a hitbox. Yep. And so, yep. like, playing the, like, low. neutral against Austin, against his, like, quick style RPS, you're just yes, always dude, behind. Absolutely.